to welcome on our STM32 Cube IDE Basics training session. In this part I would like to introduce to you the board which we will use during this session. It is called Nucleo G071RB. You can find the name over here. It contains its own programmer debugger called stlink v2.1. This is this top of the board. Below you can find the dedicated board for the microcontroller. Our microcontroller would be STM32G071RBT6, 64 pin microcontroller from STM32G0 family. This is the central chip on the board. On the board, you can see as well some additional components which would be useful for us. Some buttons, LEDs, a jumper to measure the current consumption, some connectors which allows us to connect other components. Let's have a look on the components which you will use during this session. On top you can see the Estherlin programmer debugger. It can be connected to the PC using this CN2 connector using micro USB cable. This is the main chip for the Estherlin. Below you can find a board for our microcontroller with the microcontroller in the, in the center. Blue button is so-called user button. It is connected to pin PC13. We will use it uh, to test the external interrupts. The black button is a reset button, which allows us to reset the complete application. On board we have as well the green LED. It is located on the right side of the reset button. This green LED is connected to PA5. We will use it to indicate some states of our application. Once we connect the board to the PC using micro USB cable, and this CN2 uh, connector, a Sterling driver will be installed on our PC. If the driver is properly installed, after the connection of our Nucleo board to the PC, we should see LD1 red LED on, which if it's blinking, it means that there is a problem with the driver installation or the board is not yet detected by the system. Thank you for watching this video.